Paul. What is he doing? He doesn't know anything about a computer. Connor, stop him. Dad, come away from there. Check out our systems. This is main mission. All sections report. All sections report. Switch on the big screen. See if we can pick up anything. picture. Picture gone. Sir, scanner shows that the object is not moving. I do not understand. Look at that monitor. It is still getting closer to us. Sandra, are you sure that... We're locked in its orbit. Commander, transmission coming in.
power failures in sectors G6, 8, and 11. All transportation, out. What about the main power unit? I haven't been able to get through to Anderson. Commander, I have his report. All nuclear generators and reactors check out, but power is operating at only minimum capacity. Sir, report from reconnaissance. All but four of our eagles are damaged. We're defenseless. Kano. Computer unable to make any calculations. Insufficient data. Try every possible variable. Yes, sir. Why did they not destroy us? Paul, try to make contact with them. You sound, light, radio wave patterns, the entire frequency scale. And tell Professor Bergman to come to my office, Doctor. Helena, I want an autopsy on Ted Clifford. I want to know exactly what killed him. That might not be possible. Make it possible. I want to know what we're up against. What do you know about the planet Triton? Nothing. You know, their warning was transmitted over every monitor on the base. I've been the central computer. Its memory cells have no record of any such planet. Of course, I haven't checked my own charts yet. But if only we could speak to them. Paul, any contact? No response, sir. They must be receiving. Ted Clifford wasn't transmitting classified information for nothing. Well, if they won't talk to us, we'll just have to pay them a visit. I don't think it'll be a surprise. I've got a nasty feeling we're being watched. We've actually seen it, Commander, at the base of the brain and the cerebellum. Yes, a ball of orange light, very weak, pulsating, and then it died out. There was very little brain tissue left to examine. Most of it had melted. Melted? The analysis shows that the cerebrum, which regulates speech, hearing, and most important in this case, vision, had expanded to three times its normal size. The neuronal system, which transmits information to the body through the nerves, was functioning at perhaps a thousand times its normal speed. Together, they somehow enabled Ted Clifford to see and act as though he were a computer. Alan, I want a thorough survey. Two zero altitude. See if a landing's possible. You can get closer if you can, but... Under no circumstances are you to touch down. Hmm. These Tritonians, they might not appreciate our looking them over, Commander. I don't think we should wait for them to make the next move. We're taking a look. That's the next move. Yeah, well, it's the wrong one, Commander. They've already killed Ted Clifford. Those are your orders, Carter. Is that clear? Yeah, perfectly clear, Commander. Eagle 3 to main mission, ready to lift off. Eagle 3 to Alpha. Conic here. All systems A-OK. -okay. Range 105 and closing. I can see a kind of a surface. No sign of activity. Range 8-5, still closing. Commander, there's a, a beam of light being projected from the sphere. Sir, scanner confirms. Commander, I'm going for a 90 degree turn. What's their range? 3-5. Oh, no. 
can't hear you, Commander. Range 2-0 and holding. Switch to automatic, Alan. The glare is increasing. You're heading into a force field. Right. Visibility zero. Carter. Carter, answer me. It's no use, sir. They're on a collision course. They're on manual. I can't bring them in. Should land close by, about 700 meters. Rescue and medical units stand by. Sir, there's no way to get to him. We'll walk. They're down. Donovan is dead, Commander. Carter is still alive. Paul, malfunction in scanner systems. They have all gone dead. It's no accident, Paul. An attack. Commander? Yes, Paul? They've jammed the scanner systems. They're up to something. It might be a missile attack. You'd better get back here. We're more than halfway there. We'll go on to Carter's ship. I don't want to risk getting caught in the open. All right, let's go. John. Take cover! John, it's all right. Easy, it's all Commander. Right. You'll be okay. John. Um, they've taken Helena. All systems are working now. We've got to get through their force field somehow. Well, without knowing their energy source? What if we modify one of our eagles? 
Double the power of our anti-gravity shields. Triple it, whatever the hell it takes. I don't know, it might work. I couldn't give you any guarantees. Work on it, Victor. All right. What about Carter? He'll make it. Good. The co-pilot, Donovan? Dead. Now, they planned it, John. They just wanted to get Helena out there alone. No. I don't think so. Why, oh, Ted Clifford? There's no connection. Maybe Dr. Russell is a hostage. For what reason? The way they killed Clifford? The shockwave? Locking us in orbit? No. Whatever they want from us in return, they could simply just come and get it. Who are you? We are on the planet Triton. I am from the planet Earth. We know. Then you know we mean you no harm. We need your help. exactly what it was. Uh, lucky for me, Mara brought us in. Mara, we... You'd switched out a manual. He didn't land your ship for you. You were at the controls. Me? Oh, no, I was in Never Never Land. Get some rest, Helen. Yeah, Commander. Where's Donovan? No, John. The anti-gravity screen will neutralize the force field It'll make a sort of tunnel or a corridor. It'll allow you to pass through and land. John? I heard you. And when we hit that light barrier, anything can happen. All set, Parks? Assign Parks to this mission. Yeah. Will we change places? Besides, Commander, I already know the way. Have they gone? Just lifting off now. But you know, anti gravity shields, 50% power. Range one zero zero.
We're gonna stay on manual, Paul. Very good, sir. Scanner reading. You're clear, Commander. Anti-gravity shield, full power. It's too soon, John. Full power. Velocity 7.5, range 5-0. Range 3-5, velocity 8.3. Velocity 8.5. V 8.7. Sandra, anything? No visual or audio contact. How long now? A minute five. They are coming back. Any audio? No, sir. Commander Koenig. Commander. Have you still got them on automatic? Yes. Can you get them down? I'm switching them over to the remote control system. Eagle One on the main mission control. What is it? No idea. Really, I do. 
sure you do. Why do doctors make the worst patients? Hmm? Probably because we know too much. Blood pressure is normal. Eight over 120. Bone marrow count, sugar. Everything checks out. You all right? I, I just felt faint for a moment. My equilibrium is off. Did you uh, check my middle ear? Yes, it's perfect. Wait a minute. How many do you see? Two. I should say four. Did you check my optic nerve? Come on, Bob, tell me. Well, I can't explain it. But from all indications, you're blind. Well, obviously, she's not blind. Obviously. Do you have any explanation? Only one. Ted Clifford. Ah. Another interesting account in the pyramid texts of the Old Kingdom. But here they're called the Eyes of Heaven. Seems our friends got about a bit. I talked to them. I told them we meant them no harm and that we needed their help. You saw them? No. I only spoke to them. To a voice, anyway. We know one thing about them. They can decompose atoms, reduce an object to its atomical components, pure energy, transport it through space and reassemble it in another place. That's how they got you from here to there. Back on Earth, they've been working on that process for over 50 years with machines. They do it with light. Yes, but what sort of light? And how? When I was in the sphere, I wasn't wearing my spacesuit. Oxygen. The Tritonians might just be humanoid. Like Clifford. She must be going to computer. Notify Paul. No one's to try to stop her. Paul, Bergman here. This is main mission control to all sections Alpha. Attention, all personnel. Do not approach Dr. Russell. Repeat, do not approach Dr. Russell. Touch her. Memory cell 371 classified. The complete breakdown of our life support system. 
to stop it. Only if we stop her. The computer's not transmitting. Helena is. As it is, she has 132 hours. That's five and a half days. That gives us some time. They exhaust the memory cells. What then? They won't need any of us. They don't need any of us now. Then why don't they just come and get it over with? Perhaps they can't leave their sphere. That's it. Something's preventing them. They're limited in some way. Weakness. Everything they've done has only shown their advanced intelligence. No one's actually seen them. I mean, not even Helena. No, but we've been thinking of them as people. What if they're not? What if they're simply an intelligence with no physical form? They're just as trapped as we are. No. More so. We can still move. We can still get to them. We can't blast our way through their force field. Oh, but maybe we can bend it a little. There it is, Commander. That ball of light. Just like Ted Clifford, except it's stronger, more alive. The same with her cerebrum and her optic nerve. Now, once Dr. Esley is activated, this ball of light enables her to see, well, like a high-speed camera. They needed her there to implant it. That's why it didn't work on Clifford. It's their link. Through Helena, they're connected to our computer. A human conductor. Commander, she can't take much more. Now, what do they want from us, really? Information. Our knowledge, that's all. They're a sort of reconnaissance team sent out into space to gather information and then transmit it back to Triton. That's all. We did it ourselves with our deep space probe ships. Then Triton does exist. Hmm. Oh, did exist. Now, this position of this mythological planet does correspond to our galaxy charts, I and mean, I've checked it myself a dozen times, even through a computer. But Triton is dead, John. Blew up. Disintegrated. So it's possible whoever programmed Helena and killed Ted Clifford doesn't know their planet no longer exists. If I can convince them their mission is obsolete, they might release her. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. I mean, Helen has been activated six times in the last 24 hours. She's not going to survive another five and a half days. Now, they've miscalculated on their weakest link. She's not their weakest link, Victor. The circuit runs their computers to the force field, mm -hmm. around us, to Helena. Kano and back to their computers. Right. So it's all up to Kano. To jam computer. We can't touch Helena, but we can break the chain. You tested it only once, but it worked. When I jammed computer, the force field was turned off for 3.2 seconds. Listen, you won't even get off the ground. I'll need at least 15 minutes. 13 minutes, 10 seconds from lift off to getting through the force field, which of course won't be there. And you can get me the 13 minutes? Plus 10 seconds. It's easy, like jamming a typewriter. Three keys locked together is not the same as locking them all. 
When Connor was experimenting, he only jammed one circuit. Now he set up enough memory cells to cause an overload in 25 key circuits. It'll take computer 32 seconds to clear each of those circuits, which will give us the time we need, 13 minutes. When the computer jams, the force field will shut down just long enough for me to get through with a few seconds for margin. Even if it works, what can you do when you get there? How will you get inside the sphere? The same way you did, Helena. I don't think they know their planet no longer exists. If I can convince them of that, they may release you. But there's no time pattern. I'm activated at random. Helena, please. Victor and Carno have worked out the details. All we need now is for you to go through with it. I don't have any choice, do I? The moment Dr. Russell is reactivated, we lift off. been reactivated. Lift off. Field eight zero. Seven zero. Six zero. Force field four zero. Three zero. Hello? How are we on time? Any moment now. Contact lost. Commander Koenig? Commander. This is main mission coming, Commander Koenig. Eagle One here. We're inside the sphere. They're through. in a few minutes, but for the last time. Paul, information on Triton is in place. Dr. Russell, now you can only transmit what we want them to know. Computer's all set? All set, sir. Right, stand by. 
Well, I was never one to turn down an invitation. Neither was I. No, Carter. You stay with the ship. If we're not back in 10 minutes, 15 at the most, you blast out of here. Right, sir. You won't need that. All right. Sure you do. Why don't you show yourselves? We are here. Surely I'm no threat to you. That is correct, Commander. You knew we would jam our computer. you need me. Dr. Russell will not live long enough. I am to replace her. The death of Dr. Russell is also regrettable, but necessary. If we're of such primitive intelligence, why do you seek our knowledge? For when Earthmen decide to invade our planet. Triton is two million light years away. Time is an illusion, Commander Gurney. Not to us, and not to you, because your planet no longer exists. I can prove it. All right, stand by. We do not wish to destroy your men, Commander. Or you. We will, if it is necessary. It won't be necessary. Because I can prove to you that Triton no longer exists. Victor. She's setting the computations now. This is Triton's galaxy. Do you acknowledge? We acknowledge. This is Triton's star system. We acknowledge. This is Triton's universe. We acknowledge. This is Triton's sun. Calculations and confirmation you're receiving now are coming through Dr. Russell. You can check them. They will prove beyond a doubt that 
your sun exploded, that Triton and the other planets in your solar system have been destroyed. Triton no longer exists. Your function is discontinued. And release Dr. Russell and my men. to satisfy my curiosity. Hmm. What is it? You have a lovely optic nerve, Dr. Russell. Thank you, Dr. Matthias. Why so pensive, Victor? Oh, I was just thinking about that planet, Triton. All that knowledge. Yep. Perhaps knowledge isn't the answer after all. And what is? <laughs> 